Okay, so we're going to talk about spiritism. We'll get as much done as we can in the next 20 minutes, uh, and then we'll call it good uh, for today. Um, um, and we might not be able to get everything done today, but, but we'll try. So, um, spiritists reject the God of the Bible. Uh, instead, they, uh, the focus is on the spirit world. Um, and uh, and the spirit world is what causes everything to happen in life. Uh, so the goal is to please the spirits, because when you please the spirits, good things happen. When you make them angry, bad things happen. And so um, that, is, um, that is a key uh, to spiritism. You see here there's demons um, and there's spirits and, uh, and there's gods. Uh, and so um, remember how I told you like naturalism, humanism, only the physical world exists, nothing beyond the physical world exists. This is kind of the opposite, like only the spiritual world exists. Uh, it is, uh, or at least it's the focus, uh, focus of spiritism, which is what the name uh, would imply. I want to talk a little bit about the background to spiritism, how uh, it came to be, and then, um, and then we'll go back and, and talk about some other things about it. Um, so spiritism comes from early shamanism. A shaman is a spiritual leader, um, generally in um, oh, uh, American Indian um, uh, religions and, and other spiritist religions. Uh, and, and so uh, it came from Eastern European and Eastern culture, uh, Asian cultures, um, but then it also... Uh, has been seen in many tribal societies, both in Africa and in the United States. American Indian, um, Native American religions are spiritist as well. And, and I would also include voodoo um, in this, voodoo in Haiti and, and other uh, Latin America, uh, American uh, countries is a spiritist religion. Um, spiritism first came to the United States in the 1800s. There's this woman named Kate Fox. She had some sisters, and they began conducting seances. Seances are um, a gathering that is intended to connect with the dead, to contact the dead, to get messages from the dead. But I, will, I would submit to you that we see this as, as early as the Old Testament. Um, the, the term in the Old Testament is necromancer. So necro means death. And mancers is is like contacting them. So 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 necromancy was specifically um, uh, uh, outlawed by God in the Old Testament. So even in ancient times, people were attempting to contact the dead. And we'll talk more about what's going on there when that happens um, in a little bit. And seances began uh, to be. Uh, uh, in the middle uh, 1800s, um, and it was a guy named Alan uh, Kardec who was uh, a born and, and uh, died in the 1800s. Uh, he wrote the Spiritist Doctrine and um, was responsible for the Spiritist Bible. Um, I don't know much about that, but um, that's kind of how Spiritism came to be in, uh, in the United States. So let's talk then a little bit about um, let's look at, at some things that are spiritist that we know about. Uh, I don't know if, I, I've not read Harry Potter, I've only seen clips that I play in class, um, so I don't know much about it, but I think it's probably pretty obviously from a spiritist um, sort of perspective. Um, and then, what? Um, this is a, a, a Oh, a TV show that was called Charmed uh, about these three witches that are there where they did this contacting mm -hmm. the dead. Um, and then there was also a cartoon for children uh, called Witch. Um, I forget what my kids watch. Uh, and uh, it also was a, a comic book uh, as well. Uh, so we anime. And in fact, um, at some point, McDonald's made uh, Happy Meal toys um, out of the characters. Um, 
Um, and then uh, this is Shaman King. I don't know anything about that, but I was this guy is a guy named um, John Edwards, and he's known from a TV show called uh, Crossing Over. Um, and uh, he purports to be able to, to contact the dead, get messages from the dead. Um, and um, this show uh, was part of that. And we'll talk more in a little bit about what's going on there. Is that real? Um, and, and a little bit. So the key characteristics of spiritism, the focus is on the spirit world. As I said, everything is spiritual. Um, and and it's, there are good spirits and there are bad spirits. Uh, there is an intelligent force behind it. Uh, and I suppose you could say that that's God, although it would be a lowercase g, but, but that supreme intelligence is an it, not, not a him or a her, not a personal being in any sense of the world. It's just um, almost like um, the Force in, um, in Star Wars. Um, and, and all of life is, fear, is, is uh, seen through a spiritual lens. Yes? So, it, it, it's just like something. It's like something like that. It, Um, yeah, I think I think that those spirits would emanate from that source. So, like, they don't do anything specific. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I don't prayer or worship. I think we all worship. Uh, that, that I know of. I, uh, uh, so there's this whole idea of cause and effect in in spiritism, and um, what we do um, either pleases or ticks off the spirits. And so what they would the way they would look at things is that if something <coughs> bad happens then I made the spirits angry if something good happens then I'm making them happy and the whole idea is to keep the spirits happy so they don't get angry with you and bad things don't happen uh, and so um, the the whole idea of what to do and not to do is what makes the spirits happy uh, and you can't always know uh, until after the fact right uh, and, and then truth is found through um, through a shaman, through someone who has the ability to contact the spirits, um, and that person is is a leader. A medium is another way of saying that, and and um, and they serve as a liaison between the spiritual world and the physical world. Um, I knew someone um, formerly. Um, who I'm, I'm still Facebook friends with, um, and um, this person's parents died in pretty close succession, and they went to a uh, their, some sort of shaman, some sort of um, person that reported to connect uh, connect with the dead, um, came to Omaha, and <coughs> the person went to to see him. I can't remember his name, and uh, he told. Her things, messages from her parents that they could not have possibly known about her parents. And, um, and so she believed that she was really hearing from her parents. We'll talk in a little bit about why, why that's going on, what that's about. Um, but, um, but it is not uncommon for people who contact um, a medium to reportedly get a message from someone who is high that they have information that they could not have known about that person. Um, and so contact with that spirit world uh, brings you into communion with those who have died. Yes. Do you think spiritism is more dangerous than like postmodernism? Because 
does get involved with spiritually? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. So do you think that in some sense, it's not that it's what you should worship, but that it's like real kind of, because you're saying that they do know stuff that you would only know if you're able to contact, like do you think we can contact the dead? Yeah. But I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'll get to that in the next five minutes. Um, so um, moral values are determined by whether they honor or irritate the spirit. It isn't about this is good. It's only good if it makes the spirits happy. And, and it's only bad if it makes them angry. Uh, so that's how morals are determined. And good works in life help one uh, evolve spiritually, uh, especially through the in reincarnation. So in that way, it's a little bit like the pantheistic religions, that if you build up more karma, although I don't think they call it karma, uh, then you evolve higher. If you don't, then it's all it's more about if you please the spirits enough, you evolve higher. If you uh, don't, then you um, evolve. Um, and then Jesus is seen as a positive role model, but he's not viewed as God. He's not the son of God. He's not the way to God. Uh, just a positive um, so how does uh, the spiritist answer the five life questions? Um, so as I said, that supreme intelligence, it's not a personal God. As I said, it's an it. We emanate from that, um, that supreme intelligence, and, and it created the uh, universe and everything in it and incarnated um, human beings. Um, not in a personal way at all, but, um, but that's, that's how uh, we get here. Um, and then why is there such a mess in the world? Um, and it's obviously because of less, ad less advanced people who are making the spirits unhappy, and so the spirits are wreaking havoc in our world. Uh, and so we need to try and make the spirits happy. The interesting thing to me is that we're, that absolves us of any personal responsibility. It's all based on, um, it's all the spirit's fault. The devil made me do it. And we were saying back in the 70s, no, the devil didn't make you do it. You did it, right? But in this case, uh, they are absolved because the spirit's I didn't, it wasn't me, the spirits messed it up. Uh, is there any hope? Uh, our salvation ultimately comes through that evolution of, um, of a cycle of, of births and rebirths. Um, and um, that, that, that reincarnation, that, um, uh, that evolving up is our only hope. That's uh, to become more enlightened, uh, and and we do that by making the spirits happy, and presumably that would line up with doing good works and doing nice things and being nice and all of that. Um, but we don't always do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so uh, that sort of process can um, can make our world a better place if we make the spirits happy, and they do. Things. And then, what is my purpose in life? Is to strive to improve and, and to become more enlightened and, and uh, to become that in our spiritual journey, moving up and being reincarnated higher. Um, and then, what happens when we die? We're continually reincarnated for a series of deaths and rebirths. Um, but to them, it isn't so much personal. It's like a Death is like a change of wavelengths um, uh, on, a, on a radio or something like that. It's a different frequency. Um, and then you come back to Earth um, at some point. Um, so I'm going to, I am, this is the last thing we'll talk about. Uh, and then we'll catch up. Um, so let's talk about the whole contacting of the dead. Um, so do you think that in that scenario I gave you, 
that that man was speaking to the What's going on? There are beings. There are spiritual beings. They are not all knowing, but they know stuff. They know things uh, spiritually um, that um, that um, through Satan, right? They they know things. Satan isn't all powerful, but he is powerful. He's a powerful spiritual being. Uh, and so I, I I do I don't believe that. I believe he was talking to me. He knew things about him. Um, and that's part of why the Old Testament was so adamant about people not trying to contact that sort of spiritual world. Yes. So what like what would a demon tell somebody? Like, you know, she said she was like new things that her parents liked or where they had been. It's so like they like medium drivers be like, Oh, do you know it's real because your mom sort of put in this tub of cake? Like he'd say something like that, or he'd say your mom is saying then and up and something that only her mom would say? Like what I don't get what they even say. I've never been part of a seance. So I don't know for sure, but I think it's in in the um in the message from the Love the dead loved one. It's it would be like you know your mother remembers when you lived on Avenue oh. and, you know, and and those things about their life that that you know, couldn't possibly know. Mm -hmm. Especially in this sort of a case where she was part of a larger group and then afterward kind of he had no he had never met her before so he couldn't you know go to yeah. the the internet and find out um, things. About I think there are some that are you know, famous, but um, so we're going to do a little bit of review tomorrow. Um, you will have a test over lessons mm -hmm. one and two on Wednesday of next week. Uh, you have your study guide uh, for that. I gave you your study guide for that, right? Uh, so where are you looking? We did. We didn't. We didn't. Okay. okay. Well, I better give that to you then. Uh, yesterday, yes. Yeah. Thank you.